Hi, what's up, Cancer? Uh, these are your messages for eclipse season. Try to record this three times. I'm real being patient. The dogs really want to interrupt his reading. Maybe you have a lot of dogs. I don't know, but they want to be the star of this show. They always said that feminine energy is cat energy, masculine energy is dog energy. Think about it. I don't know where I'm going with this. Again, the dogs. It's a distraction. These dogs are distractions. You men are distractions. What is going on, Cancer? <laughs> I'm in rare form for this. My my accent wants to come out immediately. I'm in my school cap. Transformation is happening for you in eclipse season. Yes. And I have the song by Limp Biscuit in my head. It's just one of those. Things. Breaking things, you need to go out and break some things. You need to get some aggression out. I feel. Yeah, it's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Mm, I feel that so much. It's just one of those days when you don't want to get up and everything's fucked. I don't know. You need to get out and can take your mask off and show people maybe maybe you need to get some rage out. I don't know. <sighs> Tis the season. I don't know. Oh, I'm kind of scared to look at what the cards are going to be. Have an eclipse. Solar and Luna. Within a few weeks of each other. So, okay. Big changes afoot. Can we allow for change in our life? I want to look for the sun and the moon cards. And what cards are in between that? What is cancer letting go of? What clarity is coming into their life? What are the new beginnings? What's going on? And in an energetic sense, by looking between those two cards, that was my intention in shuffling the deck. I'm going to give you some messages that are profound tonight. Okay? I mean, look at uh, the flavor of this, too. It's very, uh, I don't give a fuck. And I love that. You know, maybe that's the change, Cancer. Hmm. Embracing this healing part of your ascension where you are uh, allowing your darkness, allowing your rage or anger to be seen. Uh, I find that like demolition or uh, demolition. <laughs> it's just, it's like, I don't blow up things, but I was just thinking of like, when you like i've been <laughs> i've had some opportunities where like people are remodeling and they need somebody to tear something down like you get your hammer and you can take your like, like that like productive ways of channeling that kind of anger a lot of times too like dance can be very healthy to transmute that um, energy out of the body also artistic things mm -hmm. so movement is essential i think and also the voice, so I'm so sidetracked by that. <sighs> I have to touch my nose, I have to touch my nose, so that I, you see me, right? And then now you, now I got this mask on. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's find out what's in the cards here. I'm going to find the sun and the moon. All right, let's do this. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so you've been committed to what you love here. Maybe it's to yourself. Maybe you've just been really working hard at a job. And maybe not seeing all the benefits yet. Eights are an energy of coming into harmonization. Things aren't in harmony yet. The periods of time where you're in the bottom part of that eight. If you look at the eight like the infinity sign, the ups and the downs, right? And coming into that harmonization. Maybe you feel overworked, underpaid, undervalued. We're talking about pinnacles. Okay, where you program that you have to work hard for it, Cancer. Money don't grow on trees. Well, who says? This is my reality. Maybe I'm breaking out of some sort of old mask that I used to wear. Hmm? 
I don't know. I'm still looking for the sun and the moon. Sorry, I'm just such chitty chatty all over the campus. <laughs> looking for the sun and the moon and the sun and the moon. And where is it? I keep looking for the sun and the moon. What the? What the? Okay, did I pass it? Okay, there's the sun. There's the sun. And there's the moon. Okay, 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 okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. You look at shit. You could write a book about what you've been through. <laughs> Practically the whole deck. The whole deck before I found those cards. I'd be super patient. I was looking for answers for a while, huh? Huh? <laughs> they're coming and they're coming quick. And it's not a long, big old, drawn out soap opera. It's this boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I love that it's going in and out, like, whatever, keep from guessing cancel, right? Like, yeah, I'm right on that cancer, cancer cusp, Gem I'm a Gemini Cancer, right on that cusp, it's called the cusp of magic, <laughs> you are magic, let's see what's going on here, I'm gonna lay this out, and just tell you about the few cards that are in between, oh shit, yes, okay, so, here it is, that rebirth. That's why I got the skull on my crown here. There's the death card. Could have Scorpio in your chart, but this is about transformation. Life is a dance. Mm -hmm. Could be about a, a relationship, too, here that's coming back together. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. Kind of an energy I'm feeling with this. This is also the phoenix rising from the ashes. Yes, look at how the feminine is trusting this masculine to lead. Mm. And if you're not with somebody, it just could be the balancing that's happening within you. So we all have feminine and masculine here. Yes, the death card. The star card. In fact, it's talking about blessings and healing flowing into your life. Finding direction in your life again. Not losing faith or hope. It's here. Aquarius energy in your reading. Here is the magician. You have created a brand new beginning. Becoming the master alchemist. We're talking about being committed here. That has all been worth it. You are worth it. You are creating like, uh, like through the eyes of a child. Childlike energy, new beginning. It's right here, the magician in the upright. And here's that new beginning. You see, you had to take, like, you might have been even forced to rest for a while. Four swords. Retreat from the world. Take care of you. Time to rejuvenate. And you're going to have that time to rest because, like, here it is. Now, maybe, I don't know what part you're in right now, but... The Four of Swords is here. Maybe it's time to wake up, Sleeping Beauty, because... Or maybe it's time to rest because you work so hard. I don't know what part of the eight you're in. Eight of Pentacles. Right? But here's that promotion or that money or new job. The praise, the recognition. I see you. I recognize you. I celebrate you. Hand of God coming in. Here you go. Here you go, Cancer. Here you go. Look at your ancestors, your angels. Angels, ancestors, all celebrating you. The devil's head in a bubble. Mm -hmm. Pass some sort of test. You've been through it. Like I said, I was looking for answers for a while. But the sun and the moon here are in the upright. That's telling me your illumination, clarity, letting go of your fears. Blue feather out here. You're not seeing the color of that, but that's bright blue parrot feather. Abracadabra, magicians here, create your reality, and you did. You've learned some sort of lessons about your worth. Could even be money, inheritance, uh, promotion, more money at work. It's of material gain. And with the six of wands by it, it's success. Okay? I love that so much. I'm going to leave it there. I don't, I don't want to. I mean, that's like, how many cards are there in between the sun and the moon? Seven cards. Six cards. Six cards. Balance. Balance. Balance coming into your life. After a, a long, tough time. I love you. Bye.